Oh my gosh, this weather, y'all. So I didn't know that weather it was bad weather going on all over like the south until um, this morning. I was in Bless Watkins Live and she was talking about uh, this these snowstorms in Texas and, and people were started in the in the chat started talking about how their weather was where they were. And I thought we were just having some bad weather here in North Carolina. But here's the issue. I don't look at the news on the weekend and this weekend I had an extended weekend because we were off on Monday. So I didn't look at the news, uh, which is probably something I should at least turn it on for a few minutes on the weekend. I look at it all through the week, all day. I enjoyed it. I mean, not really enjoy the news, but I watch the news. I'm a news watcher. Uh, but on the weekends, I take a break from it. But anyway, so here in North Carolina, where I am, um, the area of the city that I'm in, we were getting a lot of rain. Rain was turning into freezing rain. Um, so we woke up with black ice and, and trees were down from um, the icing and of course people lost power and then at night it would you know and during the day it would kind of melt melt the ice the freezing ice and then at night it would freeze all over again and again losing power um, then it was a lot of rain it was a fl there's some flooding in a lot of areas because it was a lot raining a whole lot from um, Friday on um, up through last night last night it was a thunderstorm on uh, lightning and thunder I mean it was it was it was a bad one it was going on bad out there and raining so Y'all know what happens after thunderstorm, lightning storm. You're going to get some snow in about five to seven days. Um, so we're going to see if that happens. But anyway, uh, millions in Texas without power as deadly storm brings snow, freezing, and freezing weather. And y'all know Texas folks ain't used to no snow and ice and cold weather. Um, I, we lived, we were stationed in Texas, Fort Hood. And it snowed one time. Um, that was February, or I think somewhere around February 1st, 2003. The shuttle, Columbia, had came, had exploded over Texas. And it disrupted the atmosphere, the clouds, and it, and it snowed. Y'all, it was about 65 degrees that day, or 60 degrees. It was, it was warm. It, I might be exaggerating, but it, was, it, wasn't hot, it wasn't cold at all. The sun was out, and it was it was snow falling, but it, again, it, it, it was because of the um, disruption in the atmosphere from that shuttle explosion. But anyway, that was in 2003 in Killeen, Texas. Um, but it, Texas, people in Texas are not used to um, this type of weather. And now they're dealing with power outages as a result of this weather. Um, and unfortunately, I think because they're not used to this type of weather and they're having power outages is now they're in the cold uh people were warming themselves in their car which unfortunately um two dead from carbon monoxide poisoning after using their car to heat in texas storm um houston police said that the victims were a woman and a girl uh two others included a boy uh were taken to the local hospital for treatment. So it's just, um, you know, these things happen and, you know, people try to do the best they can to survive it. And, um, and then accidents happen, but please, um, if you go out into your car to keep yourself warm, to charge your phone, you turn that car on, please make sure that you have your garage door open, uh, completely open. And, um, and these backup generator, generators, sometimes it's just not a good idea for homes. Um, it's a good idea for businesses, you know, that's bigger, that can, that can handle it. But for homes, it's not a good idea. Um, just be careful and be safe, whatever you use to try to um, warm yourself. You know, I know everybody can't. Uh, a lot of times hotels are open and they have backup generators, but I know that everybody can't use that option. But uh, try to be uh, safe. Uh, find some and prepare you know areas I live in a warm area but in North Carolina we happen to get we can get cold here we can get in the area I'm at we can get cold and of course we can have a little ice and snow not as much as of course upstate DC and New York and all that but we get it uh, but sometimes we in the, in the south are we're, we're not as prepared for this but always keep you stay prepared for hurricanes snow tornadoes and things like that. Um, millions without power as U.S. brace for another winter storm. It's not over. Um, according to CNN, um, it, it's, this, this winter storm is not over. Just like I said, we had a, 
lightning and thunderstorm last night. I know it's not scientific, but it's happened five to seven days after, I almost said business days, thinking I'm at work, five to seven days after a storm, after a thunderstorm, a lightning storm, comes snow. So I'm expecting some here also, and I'm going to prepare for that. Um, in Mississippi, uh, they had to close down the international airport um, due to the storm. Should weather conditions further decline, the closure may be extended according to the airport. And then in Nashville, Tennessee, same thing. Um, but there's a travel alert um, and flight cancellations. Also in Reagan, uh, in Houston, Reagan Airport, I happened to know there was, count I don't know why they sent me an alert, alert. I don't have a flight and I don't even have a canceled flight. But anyway, uh, there's uh, canceled flights there due to weather. So be careful if you're out there traveling or if you have travel plans, check before you go. Um, speaking of tornadoes and hurricanes, uh, Bonnie sent me a message this morning. Y'all know Bonnie Vine 45. Um, she sent me a message this morning saying, asking me, was I okay? And I was like, yeah, I'm okay. Why? Wow, what happened? What? I, started, I was like, whoa, whoa, what happened? Did something go on? And then she sent me a message back and said there was a tornado in North Carolina. I wasn't aware of that. Um, but it wasn't near my city. Um, but it says here three people were killed, 10 more injured after a tornado struck a close coastal North Carolina communi community. I, um, I live a good four to five hours from the coast. I'm inland. So, uh, I wasn't aware of this and wasn't affected by this. Um, Brunswick County tornado leaves three dead in North Carolina. Um, and at least three people died and 10 were injured when a deadly tornado hit early Tuesday in southeastern Brunswick County near uh, Gris, Gristown in the Ocean Ridge Plantation community. The tornado damaged at least 50 homes, snapped trees in half, in half and, and down power lines that left thousands without electricity. I would normally say that North Carolina is not a state to get tornadoes, but lately we have been a state to get tornadoes. In fact, in the city that I live in, we, within the last probably two years, I think we've had three, um, which, you know, um, global climate changes, people. But those who said, I don't believe in it, I would like for you to explain them getting uh, snow in Texas, in areas of Texas. I heard San Antonio got uh, snow. I haven't known of San Antonio to get snow in for never. Okay, in for never. And we getting tornadoes. Here's, here in, in my state, there's some global warming, global uh, climate changing going on. That's, that's, that's just fact, and it needs to be dealt with. But the South braces, braces for more cold Another snow and ice storm. A, winter, a new winter storm had, was expected to develop in Southern Plains on Tuesday and head for the South on Wednesday. It's according to the Weather Service. So uh, the lower Mississippi Valley and on into Ohio and Tennessee Valleys, prepare, get ready. Get you some extra blankets, extra socks, uh, flashlights, whatever you need, uh, food, canned goods in case you're water, in case your uh, power go out, that type thing. Uh, run some water in your tubs in, in case of uh, the, the freezing and all of the things that you need to prepare for. Charge up all your devices, all your uh, cell phones. When I charge up all my devices, I even charge up them cell phones that ain't got no service on it but still can. Well, if the power go out, I guess you can't use internet either. But anyway, charge up everything. <laughs> charge up everything and, and just prepare. Um, the northern part of Louisiana, see that's odd, I never heard of Louisiana getting snow, may only uh, see a couple of inches of snow, but nearly half an inch of ice. See, ice is so much worse than snow. Snow is beautiful, but it's so inconvenient and it can be dangerous. Um, and ice is just plain out dangerous. You can't see it, you know, you, you, you know and, when, and when you're in it, you're already in it spinning, you know. Uh, so be everyone be careful. The weather service said over, uh, said over 76,000 people were without power Tuesday morning um, in some areas of Louisiana. We can't tell exactly when the thaw out is going to happen and the roads may go from being unsafe to safe to unsafe again. Prepare, 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 prepare. So 
that's what's going on um, with with all of this weather. I guess it is February, huh? So it's we in the throes of winter. Um, so just be careful and prepare. And I hope that everyone is safe. This is Miss Cruiser. Please like, share, and subscribe.